This was live streamed from a congressional hearing September 12, 2023, yesterday. Well, now let's go to a more extraordinary point. David Cruz, the intelligence officer who testified before the United States congressman that his country was in possession of biological remains of entities. and that uh, he knew where they were, that he told the congressman, so far the Pentagon has not agreed to release this information and allow congressmen to witness these biological remains. Here today we are going to present two beings that were recovered in Peru in a diatom mine. They are dried bodies found between the cities of Palpa and Nazca. In 2017, that have been deeply investigated, both by investigative journalists and by scientists, who here today are going to make known some of their extraordinary conclusions. I would like to call, first of all, the researcher Joyce Mantilla, who has investigated this topic from the first moment they had been discovered. We are going to discover at this moment those bodies that, according to the scientists who are going to declare it here, are beings, non-humans, that are not part of our terrestrial evolution, and that after they disappear there is no subsequent evolution. So I'm going to tell you a few things that I know about these beings. One, they look exactly like what we were shown in the movie E.T. So Steven Spielberg was way ahead of his time. They say these were found in 2017, but the movie E.T. proves that these were known about long before 2017. I had videos where doctors were showing their findings. And let me tell you what some of those findings were. Let's find a good shot. There we go. In the forearm where the human has two bones, a radius and an ulna, these beings have one bone. In the shin where we have the tibia and fibula, two different bones, these have one bone. They also have three long spindly fingers, just like E.T. The human has nine ribs. They have ribs going all the way down their spine, like a snake. They have, according to this doctor that I'd watched, who was showing the x-rays, that they have a reptilian-like skin. And she showed the x-ray of the abdomen of one of these and it had three eggs that took up the whole abdomen like snakes and lizards and turtles lay eggs so before I continue let's go back to the Steven Spielberg movie E.T. these look 100 percent like what we were shown in that movie, so much so that as this comes forward, people are going to recognize that these have been known about for a long time by some people, by some societies, some secret societies of which Steven Spielberg is a part of. So I'd like to reference here the song by ex-ambassadors called Renegades, where... They pay tribute to the Spielbergs and Kubricks. Steven Spielberg brought us the movie E.T. Stanley Kubrick brought us other movies like The Shining and Eyes Wide Shut. So let's go over some of these lyrics because this is definitely the Muse message for this song. Excuse me, the Muse message for this video. Run away with me. 
lost souls in revelry, running wild and running free, two kids, you and me, and I say, hey, 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 living like we're renegades, long live the pioneers, Rebels and mutineers, go forth and have no fear, come close and lend an ear, and I say hey, 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 living like we're renegades, all hail the underdogs, all hail the new kids. All hail the outlaws, Spielbergs and Kubricks. It's our time to make a move. It's our time to make amends. It's our time to break the rules. Let's begin. And I say, hey, 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 living like we're renegades. So that song is called Renegades by the band X Ambassadors. Like they were the ambassadors during their Earth School graduation ceremony, and now they're the people that make the music, and you're the new ambassadors. We're coming up on a choice point where everyone's going to have to make a decision. And there's a lot of soft-minded people who take a hard-line stance on things they don't understand and have demonized these beings in every imaginable way. Literally calling them demons, fallen angels, you name it. Maybe that's the uh, lyric about how it's our time to make amends. Yeah, sorry, sorry about demonizing you like that, man. I Probably shouldn't have done that. I was just going along with what everyone else was saying. And Yeah, sorry, bro. I didn't mean to demonize you like that. So, I've done videos on these particular bodies. Maybe, maybe not these specifically, but others exactly like them. And it used to be available on YouTube, but now it's moved behind a paywall at Gaia TV. The video where you could see the doctors doing the analysis of these bodies, including showing you the x-rays where you could see the ribs go from the bottom of the spine all the way to the top, like a snake. And you could see the eggs in the abdomen, like a snake. And ergo, they must be evil, because everything reptilian is evil, right? So this was like back in probably around 2018 or 19 that I was able to make those videos when those videos were available on YouTube. But then they, like I said, put them behind a paywall and you got to join and give a subscription to Gaia TV now. But the fact that there's multiple specimen, multiple different bodies, and they all have the same differences means it's not a genetic mutation because that's the first thing people will say, oh, it's a, it's a human, it's just got genetic mutations. The fact that all of them have the same genetic mutations means it is a different species. Genetic mutations do not happen like that where there are multiple of them. Like I said, the two bones in the forearm, the radius and the ulna, these guys have one bone, same thing with their shin one bone instead of the tibia and fibula that humans have. Ribs going from the top to the bottom of their spine rather than just the nine ribs up on the upper abdomen the rib cage as humans have. And the fact that they look exactly like E.T. means we've been trying to be shown for a long time. So this term that I use, muse message, where there's a layer of meaning embedded within a song, a storyline that they're trying to show and tell. Well, the movie E.T. was very blatant about what the storyline was, but people thought it was fiction. Now we're going to come to understand that there was a truth underlying that so specific that when people look at these bodies, they are going to see exactly what they saw when they saw E.T. Three long spindly fingers, just like E.T., 
So I'm going to be the ambassador. I'm going to walk up and be the first to shake his three-fingered hand and uh, make peace. And we can share some war stories. I'm sure they thought uh, they had a contingency of their people that thought the same thing about humans, that were the fallen angels, that were demons, that were satanic, luciferian, this, that, and the other. This is childhood's end. So a month ago, I totally wanted to talk about the seven-foot-tall, flying, bulletproof, face-peeler, illegal space aliens in Peru. But right after that story came out, the Maui fires happened. And that's more my lane, so I stuck to that. But, I'm sure a lot of you have heard, there's a whole village in Peru that's all worked up. Saying they're getting attacked at night by these seven foot tall space aliens that they call Pelecaras, face peelers. As part of the uh, local culture, legend and lore, myth, that there's these aliens that peel your face off. And there is nothing more sensational when it comes to the idea of aliens than face peelers. That's like from the movie Alien, the face huggers. And these villages in Peru say that these beings are floating like two or three feet high in the air, like they're wearing special shoes that gives them anti-gravity abilities. And that when they've shot at them, it had no effect on them. That they're bulletproof. And that they're about seven foot tall. Well, the Peruvian Navy responded because this village that's saying they're having these encounters is like way out in the middle of nowhere. It's like a five-hour river ride just to get to this village. And apparently, there was also a military response by Brazil and Colombia who teamed up with the military of Peru to respond to this. So there has been a multinational military task force assembled and deployed to respond to the seven-foot-tall, flying, bulletproof, face-peeler space aliens. But I had the fires I had to cover. But it looks like we're wrapping back around here. And this is a choice that everyone's going to have to make for themselves. And I hope that maybe that choice is made a little bit easier by some of the uh, information that you've been exposed to here on this channel. And just remember, those same Christians that are going to be telling you these are demons, they say, I love me some Jesus, love me some America, 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 and those founding fathers, praise those founding fathers. And Freemasons, those are evil. Oh yeah, those Freemasons are evil. They're so highly conflicted that they love some America and Founding Fathers, but those Founding Fathers were all Freemasons, and America is the product of those Freemasons, which they claim is evil. So how can a person be so conflicted as to say, I love me the Founding Fathers, but I hate me some Freemasons, when the Founding Fathers were all Freemasons? And most of these Christians know that. These are the same people, and the, the answer to how someone can be so conflicted is going along with groupthink, repeating and regurgitating what everyone else says in order to get the social reward of a pat on the head and told, Amen, brother, we're going to heaven, you and me, because we said they're demons. <laughs>